In our previous video, we configured our banner safety controller. And in this video, we're going to talk through how to connect it to Studio 5000. Now, for this, we're going to need to do a couple of things. First of all, we got a little bit more configuration to do in our banner safety software. And then we're going to need to download the EDS file for this particular device because not being an Allen Bradley device, it's not going to be in Studio 5000 by default. So if we go to BannerEngineering.com and go to the SC210 series and scroll down just a bit, then you're going to see the downloads area. And if inside of it, we want to get the EDS file. So we're going to go ahead and download it. And while we're here, let's get the Banner SC210 Reset and Cancel Delay AOI. We're going to use it also. Then go ahead and extract both of those files. And for the EDS file, we're going to go to our start menu and start typing device. And you're going to see the device description file installation tool. And we're going to click it. And we'll hit add. Browse. And we're going to go grab that EDS file. And then I got to tell you, I've never seen a need not just to hit next all the way through all these prompts and then just hit finish. And magically, that will get it into Studio 5000. So now, in a new copy of Studio 5000, I'm going to right-click Ethernet, New Module. And you can probably see um, your mouse squirt swirling for a little bit. Not squirt for a little bit, swirling for a little bit. And that is because it actually had to go out there and re-index all those files since it saw that you added a new one. We're just going to type banner, and you're going to see the SC210 module. And we'll hit create. And I'm going to call this my safety relay. And the IP address of mine is 192.168.20.83.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
a few outputs over here, and I do. I have four, five, and six. And one of these, actually, I need to probably dig a little closer. One of these should be our safety needs reset lights. And I pull out the uh, safety, and I open up the safety gate, and I lost five. I press the e-stop, and I lost six. And I blocked the light curtain, and I lost four. Now, the other side of that is the reset, and the add-on instruction that we downloaded will walk us right through that. Not going to fully go through it, but I want to at least walk you through getting it installed. Under Assets, we're going to right-click Add-on Instructions, and we're going to import an add-on instruction. And then we will go to where we extracted those files, and let's get the Reset Cancel. And then if you open up the Reset Cancel, there's a PDF there that will walk you through exactly how to operate the Reset Instruction. That way we can reset our safety remotely. Now notice we're not actually doing safety in our PLC in this case. We are just interfacing with the safety relay. We have several other configurations to go on getting through the startup and commissioning phase of our smart cell. And so I've created this playlist right here that'll walk you through the other ones.